Hey, it's Clay at ClayTrader.com. This will be a live trade video where I try to capture some of my trades as they play out live. Market opens up here in about five minutes, so I will pause the screen recording software for now, and I'll be back as soon as I find a potential opportunity. All right, I am looking to buy at 142, so I'm watching this number over here, and I want to see that drop down to 142, and then have that white line there turn to green. So white means I am trying to buy, green means I have been able to buy, and I am currently uh, doing options here. If you don't know what options are, just comment below option guide and I will link you to a free class I put together called the Big Basics of Options. It'll walk you through terminologies and give you a good firm foundation. And don't be intimidated. I know sometimes people are intimidated by options. They don't have to be made that way. They can be approached in a straightforward way and that's how I like to approach them. So if that's how you like to approach things in straightforward ways, like I said, comment down below and I will link that. Uh, I will link that class to you. Just put option guide. All right, getting somewhat close, kind of a 142. Um, okay, I'll keep it, no. All right, I'll go ahead, no, I'm gonna keep it going here. In there at an out, wow. 350 in literally one second. So if you'd have seen that one, white, and then that was white for just a second, and I mean that literally just a second, because right here in this column, you can see the execution column, and it shows bought at 931.47, was out at 931.48, so quite literally, uh, $350 in one second. But I need to stop talking and see if I can get another trade here. There we go. So I will try once again down here at 145, or excuse me, 142. Still got a ways to drop, but as you're seeing right now, this thing's dropping down quite a bit. If you do hear typing that, it's just me making alerts in the private uh, community that I offer. So I'm trying to, okay, so come on, let's get close for a second. Okay, maybe here. Nope, I need to. Go here. So I just changed strike prices. You change what? Just comment below option guide, and that's one of the terms that I cover. So we'll see if this wants to come down a bit more. I'm at 142 again. How can I be at that same price when the prices continue to go down? Again, that's just because I'm at a different strike price now. All right, I'll pause, but I'll keep a close eye on it. All right, gonna try for one here at 155. A call that is, I may have missed it though. Yeah, it looks like I did, I'll cancel that out. All right, I'll pause. All right, gonna try for a put here at 153. Did not fill me though. All right, was too slow on that one. I'll wait for another potential setup. Well, I am in at 150 for a put. And out, wow, I don't think I captured the entry point there, uh, but as you can see, that candle was kind of creeping, 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 and then it just blasted upwards and filled me. Um, I did capture the exit. Again, that light or that line was white and it turned green. Total trade time was five seconds, which you can see right there. So five seconds and 350 on that one. So yeah, very, very quick trade. So much so that, like I said, that one just shot up very fast. Um, to the point where I was thinking, I don't know, do I maybe want to go for more than 350? But as soon as it shot up there, I thought, whoa, 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 let me just see if I can get out here because I don't want to get in, you know, the possibility of a mess where, you know, it skyrocket up. In hindsight, yeah, I'd be up, uh, you know, potentially over a thousand, if not more. And I just say potentially because it's, you know, you don't quite know when exactly you'd be able to actually get filled just based on the offer. Uh, but uh, regardless, uh, it worked out fine. And um, yeah, that one had me. 
had me nervous with the uh, the rate at which it just shot up there and filled me, but everything worked out just fine. So I'm gonna go ahead and call it good. That's $700, it's uh, 1100, uh, or let's just call it 1110. So um, trade it for a little bit longer than I would have liked to have. Usually I like to be done within an hour, if not even less than that. So went over that, uh, but that's okay, I'll take it. And I don't, um, you know, want to come across as a greedy savage because I get it even um, at, you know, 100 minutes. I think that's what it is if my math is right. Uh, 100 minutes. So, uh, you know, almost, yeah, not quite two hours, um, but still being able to, you know, put $700 in your pocket. That That's pretty crazy when you stop and think about it. I would never go up to somebody that makes minimum wage or $50 an hour and be like, you know, in 100 minutes, you know, I made $700, but I'm not very happy about it. I would never do that, right? You would never do that. Why? Because we understand that when you reframe things, that would make you sound very, very bad. And I always, not always, but I um, talk about that quite a bit because I'm just like all of you. It's easy to look around social media and see massive numbers and then look at your results and be like, geez, what am I doing wrong? I'm not that good. But again, I would say, look at your results and ask yourself the same question. How long did you trade and what were those results? Would you go up to somebody that's making 20, 30, 40, $50 an hour and then complain to that person about your results? Now, if you're like, yeah, I made 10 bucks and I was at it for eight hours. At that point, you know, maybe you need to work on some things. And not that you always make money every day, but um, if that's like common for you to make, you know, $10 every eight hours, and yeah, your time would be better spent, you know, clearly going and doing something else. But uh, for me, as somebody that has multiple streams of income, if I can just sprinkle in $700 in you know, 100 minutes, uh, I am, uh, I'm more than confident, I'm more than happy with that. So that is all I have for you. Again, if you wanna learn more about options, just comment below option guide and I will link that free class to you. And if you enjoy these videos, if you would like for me to continue to make them, a couple easy things to do, hit that like button, and then a super way to just support the channel. Say, Clay, I have no money, but I, I like your stuff, I'd like to support you, how can I support you? Just hit that subscribe button. That goes a long way, and that really does help out the channel. So. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.